Did you ever hear about John Marco Allegro in the book The Sacred Mushroom and the Scrolls? Mm-mm. It's a uh, sacred mushroom. What was no? It's a sacred mushroom in the Christian myth, and what was? There's two different sacred mushroom in the Dead Sea Scrolls. I think is one of them. What is the uh, what are the titles of his book? The sacred, mushroom and the cross. sacred mushroom and the cross. And then there is another one. There's another one that he released after the Catholic Church allegedly bought out all the copies of the first one to get rid of it. Wow. And the something in the Christian myth. <laughs> The Dead Sea Scrolls and the Christian myth. I read the Dead Sea Scrolls. So this guy thinks that all of religion is stories about mushrooms. He thinks wow. that the entire Christian religion was about psychedelic mushrooms and fertility rituals. Mm. He thinks that what they were doing was they would have these stories, especially when they're conquered by the Romans. They'd have these stories, so they would hide the truth in stories and in you know allegories and all these different right. tales. Mm. But he thinks that the entire Christian religion was based on the consumption of psychedelic mushrooms. I can tell you this on brand. I mean, I'm a man of faith, but on brand with that is Jesus told stories and sto he taught in stories. Mm -hmm. Jesus never gave a direct a direction. He always was just like, well, and then he'd tell a story and you would have to figure out, you know what I mean? It was right, like, okay, right, the story right. would show the, it was always in story form too. Maybe they knew that was the best way to ensure that people would tell it the same way every time. Ooh. You know, because if you have a story in the story, Noah has an ark and he yep. brings the animals in the ark and God tells him he's going to do this and he's going to do that and he goes, does it. And then, you know, if you have a story, then that information keeps getting told essentially the same way over and over and over right. again. Like, we can read the Epic of Gilgamesh today. Mm. That's a 6,000-year-old story. Ooh. Something like that. 5,000? Yeah. yeah. We can read that today. Yeah. That's nuts. That's crazy. Right? That's crazy. <laughs> because it's a story. Because it's a story. But if it was just people talking about what what you should do or what happened and you know like when it's history man we can't trust history from the 60s yeah. history from the 60s we're, <laughs> we're finding out new shit every day about the kennedy assassination yeah, yeah. that was fucking 63 man <laughs> 63 that's 51 fucking years ago that's insane and we're still trying to figure out what the fuck happened right. <laughs> and this is like with modern in like they had television they had printing press yeah. they had all these different things they had accountability they had elected officials they had democracy Mm. still can't figure yeah. out what the fuck happened mm. and that's 63 so imagine trying to figure out what the fuck happened 5,000 years ago you know it's like who knows who's telling the truth who knows that you've got to like sort through the rubble and figure out what the fucking the facts show yeah. but if you have a story even if it's like there's something hidden in that story right and he thinks that that's what the um, the apple was in the Garden of Eden. That's deep. That's yeah. All that all that was in story. You think about stories too. Is they said I've never been to the pyramids, but they said that all that stuff on the inside of it is just a story, right? It's all telling a story to the a hieroglyphics. Yeah, the some hieroglyphics of them sure. are like telling stories, or when they have the guys chasing these things with the spears, they're like trying to show a story. It's all trying to tell a story, man. And a lot of mushrooms too. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of images then with mushrooms. I'm